Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura V. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And as you guys can tell in the video, we are going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing today. This is the December box and I just received it um, yesterday in the mail. So I wanted to go ahead and get this up for you guys. And if you guys want to see what I got in this month's box, go ahead and keep watching. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are not already, as well as hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I do post a video. I try and post a video at least twice a week. Um, I try my hardest to post those for you guys. I have so many more video ideas coming for you guys. Um, I do want to do a few challenge videos. Um, I know a lot of people have already done them, but I do want to do them on my channel so you guys can get to know me a little bit better, get to know my family a little bit better, and more about me. If you guys have any questions or want me to do a question answer video, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that for you guys as well. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get on into this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I am looking hella busted today. But the reason for that is because I am going to be doing an unboxy charm, um, unboxy charm, a boxy charm unboxing, and I went ahead and laid out all the other products that I'm going to be needing, and as well, I didn't do my hair because I did get a flat iron in here, so I want to show you guys how that works, or kind of see how it works in general, because it's pretty small, so I really wanted to see how it looked, um, how it works, um, with you guys on camera, so I didn't go ahead and do my hair, so I just wanted to start, um, this video by getting ready with you guys. I didn't prime my eyes yet. Um, I just did my eyebrows and clean them up a little bit. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first products in my boxy charm today are going to be, well, the first things first, it does come with this little, um, no, it tells you how much, um, the products retail for and what products we are getting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that right here to the side and I'll let you guys know in insert clips on how much the pricings is. But, um, and then it comes with this like warranty, um, limited warranty paper. And this is just for the, um, flat iron that we're receiving. So if you guys can see, this is how it comes, but I'm going to save this till the very end to show you guys. I'm guessing it's purple. There's like a purple. Yeah, it's purple. So there's that, but I will let you guys know the retail price and everything for that at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with this first because um, I start with my eyes first always. And this is an eyeshadow base primer. So this is from the brand Luscious and it's called or Luscious Angel Eyes. I, I believe that's the brand's name. And um, it says the guardian angel for your eye makeup. A smooth, lightweight and matte formula that creates the perfect canvas for a long lasting eye makeup application. Glides into eyelids without dragging and acts like a magnet for eyeshadow and eyeliner ensuring true and vibrant color results stay in place without creasing so let's see how that works i usually like to use um concealer i hardly use primer i mean i've used primer in the past i also like the mac paint pots um but i'm gonna go ahead and use this one and this one looks like it's um colored and it's the colored nude if you guys can see that right there and then this is how the box looks And I went ahead and did my eyebrows today. They came out a little bit funky. I mean, they always do. I never can get them the same, but what can you do? Um, so the bottle does look like this, if you guys can see. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, and um, it's kind of like a squeezy tea bottle. So I'm just going to take a little bit and place it on my eyelids. So I just squeezed a little drop on each eyelid and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. I should have done this with my, there it goes. I'm just blending it out with my sponge right now. And I'm really happy that it's actually um, in a shade because I like to use concealer because it does cover up any like um, veins or anything that I have on my eyes. I have a lot of freckles, so I have those on my eyes as well on my eyelids. So, um, if you guys can see, it does do a little bit of coverage for you. And it feels tacky. It feels really nice, actually. Um, I'm glad that we got this in our box. Hopefully it works and it helps keep my eyeshadow in place. So 
Okay, guys, so that's the eyeshadow primer for you guys. And honestly, I I like it. I mean, I won't know until, like, later on when I see if it does crease or anything like that. But so far, I like it. I'm really happy that it actually came in a nude shade because it covers up um, my eyelid stuff. I don't like to use um, primers that are clear or anything like that, so that's really good. Um, honestly, if it would would have came in clear I probably wouldn't have used it I don't like it or I would have placed um, concealer on top so that's that luscious angel um, primer that we used so far that's the first thing that we got in our box so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know the pricing on that the pricing is um, <clears throat> Okay, so the pricing on that is the Luscious Cosmetics Angel Primer, and that is um, retailing for $14. So that is how much this retails for, which it better be a good primer because if not, I might as well use Queen Palette, the Tardis Pro Palette. And um, I used to use this a lot. I stopped using it for a while, but it's very beautiful. If you guys can see, this is how it looks. It's a pretty um, older palette. It's not much new, but I know so this is how the palette looks. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyeshadow since I already do have that primed. Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and set my lids. So I just took a little bit of powder. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my favorite brush and just set my lids. Honestly, that's all I use this brush for, which I mean, you can use it for anything. You can use it for contour, for highlight. Um, it works for anything, but for some reason, I really like it to set my lids. Um, I love the fact that it fits right there perfectly and I get it done pretty fast. So I went ahead and I'm setting my lids with the translucent powder. Into the shade, let's see. I'm going to go into the shade Innocent in the palette and it is right here. And that is the shade Innocent. So I'm going to be taking that shade and going ahead and tapping my brush off. I really like that this comes with such a huge mirror because it helps me when I'm filming like to be able to see um, what I'm doing without having to like look in my little mirror down here so I'm just gonna take that shade and I'm going to go ahead and place that in the crease um, I'm not gonna be doing like a step-by-step -step tutorial today um, I'm not gonna go too much in depth just because we have to get through these products and I don't want this video to be very long um, I'm trying to shorten up my videos as much as I can you guys um, honestly like with editing, I'm still learning. I'm trying my hardest to learn how to edit and how to make my videos better. I know I'm not the best. I know there's people out there that do so much better. Um, but like I said, I am learning. So I'm trying my hardest, guys. Um, I will make my videos a lot better. But for now, you know, like I said, I'm going to try and get this video um, as short as possible because I do have more products to go in with. So I'm just taking that and I'm placing it on the crease area. And as you guys can tell, that's a very light, um, kind of like a light brown color. Okay guys, so the next shade I'm going to be taking is this color right next to it. And I'm gonna go in with that shade with the same brush, just a little bit lower. And honestly, I don't have any clue on what look I'm going to be doing. I'm just winging it right now. I just wanted to create a nice look so that I can um, go ahead and get to the rest of these products for you guys. guys now that that's on the lid I do want to go ahead and go in with this color at the bottom of the palette right here and it's like a darker brown color so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that shade and I'm gonna take that with my Morphe M4 or what is this the yeah the Morphe M433 brush and I'm just gonna start deepening up that crease area
everything is blending out nicely nothing's um patchy at all and i know that this palette works really well and none of these eyeshadows are patchy or anything like that um so even with the eyeshadow um primer it is performing really well which I like because now I can go ahead and start using that one. I'm actually going to be going on a trip to California for the holidays. So um, that would be a nice primer to take with me. So I think I'm going to take it with me. And I will, um, I am going to start vlogging soon. So please watch out for those. I do want to vlog. I want to introduce my family um, and kind of just um, start that part of my lifestyle video. Um, I don't just do makeup. I like um, lifestyle as well, decor, stuff like that. So I'm going to start um, introducing that into my um, YouTube channel as well as I really want to do these challenges. Um, I was telling, I have two girls, so I was telling my girls and um, my husband that I really want to do um, a few challenges with them um, that have came out before, but I want to do them on my channel so you guys can get to know us better and kind of get to know me better. So if you guys would like to see that, give my video a thumbs up as well and make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what kind of challenges you guys want to see or if you guys are interested in those. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna be going in with this brush right here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that really quick. Um, I'm just doing a quick look. I'm not doing something like, you know, extravagant, but I will um, do that for you guys if you guys wanna see another video with this palette. Um, but this video is not based on this palette, so that's why I just wanted to do something really quick. So now I'm gonna be going into this shade right here in the palette. ahead and go back in with my M443 brush and I'm going to take that color edgy that dark brown color that we used on the outer corner and I'm just going to start blending that together because I don't want um, any lines right there I want everything nice and blended Now I'm going to be taking some of the Stila liquid eyeshadow and this is in the shade Diamond Dust and it is a very pretty iridescent color. So I'm going to go ahead and place a little bit of that on the lid, but I'm not going to take too much. I just want to put it in like the center of the lid. So I just tap it right there and then I go ahead and kind of blend that out. going to do liner today guys today I'm just going to go in with my mascara and then pop on some lashes
Okay, guys, so I know I look a little crazy right now. So the next thing in my palette is the Wander Beauty Wanderlust Dust Till Dawn um, Blush and Highlight Palette. And this is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty packaging, if you guys can see. Um, it does have like a pinkish um, sunset in the back. And this is how the back of the palette looks. It tells you the colors, the highlight. It's called City, High City Lights, Havana Nights, and Tuscan Sunrise. So that's really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and use this palette to add blush to my face and highlight as well. This is how the palette looks outside of the packaging. Very pretty. Looks just like the um, outer packaging except for the back. It's just plain right there. Um, if you guys can see, it's very, very pretty. And it does have a mirror. It also um, has like a little pamphlet right here to um, cover those up. So this is how the palette looks. I'm going to be mixing those two blushes together. And I'm just going to take that and start applying the blush. That's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's nice and pigmented and it creates like a nice like um, peachy colored blush, which I really, really like. That's how the blush looks. Really enjoyed the blush. Um, now I'm going to be going in with, with a little bit of the highlight. Let me see. And I'm going to be using my... Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush and the um, number 522 just because it fits nicely in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that highlight. The highlight looks like a little bit of a gold tone highlight. So we'll see how that goes. It'll probably go nice with these eyes. So I'm just going to start applying the highlight. And it's honestly not too crazy. It's kind of I don't know if you guys can see that. It's nice and gold and it's not too um, crazy. It looks like you can build it up. Um, I really like highlights like that. I don't like too much of an overpowering with highlights. Um, it doesn't match my skin tone too well. Like I'd probably use that in the summer um, just because I'm very fair. So it does show up the gold tone on my face, but it highlights nice. Um, I'm going to take a little bit on my nose and on the tip of my nose. So that's the highlight. I'm going to go ahead and start blending out this, blending both of them, my bronzer and my blush together. And I'm going to start working on the lower lash line really quick. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of both of these two shades that we used and a little bit of that last shade that we used in the palette. And I'm going to blend all of that underneath the lower lash line. So now I'm going to be going in with the next thing in my boxy charm and this is the jante blue um glittering star eyeliner so this is how that looks and actually i received one of these in my last either ipsy or boxy charm and one of them i received one of the liquid eyeliners it's not my favorite um it's the felt tip is way too thick so i can't use it really i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the eyeliner really quick So honestly, I don't see um, glitter. It's I see it in the eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner does have glitter on it. The eyeliner does have glitter on it, but it's not showing up on the lash line, which is something that I honestly appreciate. I don't like the glitter at all, so I'm glad that it doesn't show the glitter. But if you wanted something with glitter, 
um, I wouldn't recommend this just because it's not really showing up on my liner. It might show up if you use it as an eyeliner though. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Here, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and try. Okay, so as an eyeliner, if you're using it as an eyeliner for like, like this, like a liner effect, it is showing up on the liner. But other than that, it isn't showing up on the lower lash line. Um, but it is showing up as an eyeliner in general, which is pretty cool. So you guys can use this if you guys are skilled with using these for eyeliner. That would be great. Um, I don't really know how to use these as eyeliners. I just like to use them on the inner lash line. Go ahead and spritz my face. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Sandstorm Lip Liner. As you guys can see, I'm running really low. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with the Mil Milani Adorable I'm in the shade 10, or in the shade Adorable number 10. So the next thing in our boxy charm is going to be this TARDIS shimmering lip paint and it is in the shade strike gold. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box and see how it looks. Oh, this is really pretty. So this is how it looks. If you guys can see, um, I hope it shows up good on camera, but it's very iridescent and it says it's a lip paint which I'm not sure what that is. Um, I thought it was, um, it looks more like a lip gloss, but it's saying it's a lip paint, so I'm going to go ahead and add it on top of what I just put underneath. And I'm just adding it to the center of my lips. So that's how the gloss looks little bit of shimmer but it's really comfortable I really like it so I think I'm gonna be taking this with me on my trip let me go ahead and add a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line before I forget Okay guys, so the last product in our BoxyCharm, well my BoxyCharm, I know a lot of them went out um, with different products. So in my BoxyCharm this month, I received this um, flat iron and it is by the brand PYT. And it says, it's a girl's world on it. This is how the packaging looks. It's really, really pretty. It comes in this like felt um, case and it shows you on the back how the flat iron looks, how it looks. So I undid the Velcro. And you go ahead and pull it out of here. So I'm guessing you can probably, when it's heated, you can put it in here so it's heat protectant um, case. And then you just put this in here and then wrap it up like the cord. So that's how that goes. And it is so cute. Look at how tiny this is, you guys. This is super tiny. So it does have the on and off button on the inside of the... Um, of the straightener which is really cute I really like this so if this doesn't work out for me I'm gonna try and take it on my trip with me if it does work I'm very excited because um, I'm going to California like I said so I want to take it on my trip with me and for when I want to straighten my hair I mean it's probably gonna take forever because of my hair but my hair's not that long and it's pretty straight so I just kind of run through it with a straightener and add a little bit of hairspray to leave the um, like my frizz down but um, if it doesn't work out for me, I do have a 10 year old daughter who would like this. Um, her hair is pretty straight too, but she can go ahead and straighten out whatever ends she has that aren't too straight. But for the most part, it's pretty straight. So I'm just going ahead and taking off these um, little wire things that hold this together. Heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair down. So you guys seen me this whole video looking really busted. 
and I do have on um I do have on my Selena shirt so I'll go ahead and zoom out really quick so you guys can so you guys can kind of see I do have my Selena shirt on you guys how cute is that she's like striking a pose okay so that's the shirt I have on right now um I didn't want to get too dressy because like I said this is just an unboxing I'm not going anywhere so I did want to go ahead and start by brushing my hair out so I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to start brushing my hair out really quick I don't usually ever go and part it piece by piece but I'm probably going to have to with this um, straightener because like I said it's a little bit smaller so let me see if it's heating up any okay so it's heated up so I'm going to go ahead and start I'm going to start straightening my hair so I wanted to further you guys out a little bit so that you guys can see how it looks hopefully you guys can see in this video um, so I'm just going to start out with like pieces of my hair and I'm just like it's not all the way heated up yet so I'm just going to run through it um, kind of slowly and see like how this works especially my ends if you guys can see like my ends are really really fucked up so I'm gonna try and like fix those as much as possible because like when I straighten my hair I worry most about my ends Okay guys, so as you guys can tell, I quickly gave up on the straightener. It's going to take a long time for me to straighten my hair. And my hair is honestly not even that long. It's pretty short. Um, I used to have it longer. Um, but I did go ahead and ruin it with bleach. Crazy, I know. Um, but it did go ahead and straighten. So it does work, you guys. Um, the straightener, I'm, I'm actually honestly really glad that they included this in the um, BoxyCharm because I honestly really like it. I'm glad that it's not just a palette, so it's a little bit something different, but I really wish they would have included it um, maybe a tad bigger, but I know it doesn't fit in the box. Um, but honestly, I actually enjoy it, and um, I'm probably going to give it to my daughter as a gift, um, and she can go ahead and use it. Um, but it did work, so it will work, you guys. It's just going to take so long to straighten your hair, especially if your hair is long and longer than mine. Mine isn't even that long. Mine is a little bit like maybe up to here. If you guys can see, it's it's not that long. Um, so it would take somebody else a lot longer to straighten it. But I'm really glad that they included that in the um box it is retailing for $75 which I don't think it's worth $75 I would not pay that much but I'm glad that I got it in my boxy charm um, other than that I really really enjoyed this oh my eyelashes I really really enjoyed this palette as well um, I'm glad that they included a cheek palette the highlights and the blushes work really really well in this um, this did retail for let me see this did retail for $26 which is a little bit steep honestly I don't think I would pay $26 for this not that I don't think I wouldn't pay $26 for this but I am glad that they included it in my boxy charm this month because it's not something that I would normally buy um, but I really really enjoyed the blushes and the highlight in this this is more of a summer palette for me this is something I would use more towards the summer but I did enjoy it I really really like that um, another product that we had gotten was the angel eyes eyeshadow primer this worked really well so far my eyeshadow isn't creasing at all i love that it came in the shade nude because i don't really like 
clear primers. I like them to have a little bit of a tint to them so they do cover up any um, veins or freckles or anything that I have on my eyelids. So I really enjoyed that. This was probably one of my favorite things in the box, which is crazy. Besides the straightener, the straightener is pretty cool to get. It's just not so practical. Um, and then as well as Monte Blue um, eyeliner, that was pretty cool. I'm glad that they put it in there. Like I said, it's not something that I would normally gravitate for. So this isn't going to be like one of my favorite boxes, honestly. It's not one of my favorite boxy charms, but I love boxy charm. I love that they include full size products, that they include things that you normally wouldn't gravitate for, that you normally would not pick up if you didn't have this um, subscription. So I'm really glad that they did that. So it did go ahead and come with that eyeliner. That eyeliner was retailing for $5, which is probably the cheapest thing in this. And then as well as, before I forget, as well as the... Um, Tartis um, lip paint. Honestly, no, I got. I take that back with the primer. This is one of my favorite things, and honestly, this retails for um, twenty dollars. So this is probably my favorite thing that we received, and then this is my second favorite thing because I know I will use it, and then as well as the um, eyeshadow primer. So I did go ahead and receive the Jante Blue um, eyeliner, the Wander Beauty um, blush palette, blush and highlight palette. The um, Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer, the Tartiste um, Lip Paint, as well as the um, Mini Straightener, which is pretty cool. So these are all the products that I received in my BoxyCharm this month, and I honestly really enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing with these different um, items. I'm glad that they put that primer in there because that's pretty cool. And... Um, so I did like everything that I received in my BoxyCharm this month. It's not one of my favorites, like I said, but I did enjoy receiving all of those products. So um, I'm glad that you guys watched today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys like these videos. Make sure you guys um, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. As well as I have more videos to come for you guys. I have a few challenges that I want to do with my family. And I do want to start vlogging. Um, other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.